is Regina, and before I start my speech, I'd like to introduce my audience. Hi, I'm Justin. Hi, I'm Brianna. Hi, I'm Chad. Hi, I'm Hannah. Okay. <clears throat> As Shakespeare once said, when words fail, music speaks. It taps into our creativity and our emotion. Just like a patriotic song can evoke one's love for their country, or how an emotional song can turn even the coldest heart soft, it can bring countless people from different backgrounds and cultures together. For this specific assignment, I chose three different songs. I Won't Give Up by Jason Mraz, Rise by Katy Perry, and Who Says by Selena Gomez, in order to describe me emotionally, physically, and mentally. First, we'll talk more about I Won't Give Up. The whole song itself talks about the determination and commitment it takes in order to have some type of eternal love. When it says, I see that you've come so far to be right where you are, how old is your soul, I understood it as someone overcoming different struggles in life. And all of these battles on a young person can give you so much experience and you're wise beyond your years. Going on to the main chorus, it's saying that even though all of these terrible things that they will say about them and keep faith about them. He talks about how even the greatest of downsides and even if they're not perfect, God has a path for everyone if they push it. Towards the end, he says, I have to learn what I got and what I'm not and who I am, meaning knowing your limitations and what. Overall, I would see myself as an emotional person. I am fairly naive and can be considered as a hopeless romantic, which is why the song stood out to me to begin with. Life can be rough, and especially on adulting, so having a reminder of moving forward and not giving up and keeping your positive mindset helps tremendously. The perspective that this song comes from is very similar to my mindset on life and relationships, so it definitely struck a chord with me. Moving on to representing me physically, this was Who Says. This song overall has the meaning that we shouldn't listen to what other people say about us. We shouldn't change for other people and we need to embrace who we are and our unique inner beauty. I tend to be insecure, bringing myself down and struggling to accept my various flaws. This is amplified by the world we live in, where you have to fit a certain image to be accepted. With bullies and social prejudices, it makes it hard to openly be who we are when it doesn't fit these things. So this song basically throws it all out the window. Slowly, I'm trying to be more comfortable with who I am, and this song helps. Reinforce that mindset. It shows that the bigger picture of the new mentality I'm trying to have in order to live a happier lifestyle. Lastly, and most importantly, is the mental aspect, which is the represented with the song Rise. Without a strong mentality, it makes getting through life fairly rough, and this song helps me get by. When I was younger, I was a lot more emotional person which means I had a lot of things to get to me, and sometimes I was shut down and it wasn't necessarily a good thing. This song speaks the most to me because I've tried to not let things get to me and push through whatever life throws my way. When the song says, just fight it, just fight it, it's basically saying not to give up no matter how much struggle you've gone through and you can push through it. I won't just survive or you will see me thrive. It's trying to say that not only will I get through these things, I will prosper which is basically reminding myself of my potential regardless of anyone thinks of me. It goes on to say that all these actions that I've done are for a purpose. In conclusion, you can see that music isn't just about the melody or the rhythm it has, but it has become more of a personal connection that helps us be able to debate our flaws in a way that can't be judged. Thank you for being here and listening to my speech.